big day for coasters yesterday. Big day for coasters yesterday. Big day the Indiana State Fair reopened Ooh. here at home. So those rides back open today too. It's going to be a great day to be out at the fair. Fantastic start to the morning out in Lawrence. We're looking good and satellite and radar here. We have some broken cloud cover across the state. It's a nice dry start here in Indiana. Our air quality index showing that we've come up from the good to moderate range now that we've introduced a little bit of that wildfire smoke back into the upper levels of the atmosphere. A little bit of that's mixed down to the surface, but we aren't seeing any major issues, nor am I expecting any major issues from the presence of that wildfire smoke. It'll be a little bit hazy out there again today, and I say it's going to be at its worst as we get into this afternoon on into early Thursday and primarily off on the eastern side of the state before we start to scoot that smoke back on out of here as we get into the end of the week. So some hazy sunshine mixed with clouds today. We're at 67 to start us off in Indianapolis, 66 in Muncie and 60 in Peru. We have several locations outlying that have fallen into the upper 50s. Not quite as cool as yesterday morning, but still on the comfortable side and again on the cooler side compared to where we should be this time of year. That average low temperature at 60. 66 at this date. We'll see temperatures by the time the fair opens upper 60s at 9 a.m. If you're going there for a lunch at noon, temperatures in the upper 70s, looking at a high temperature today at 83, and we should keep that humidity and check again today. You're really going to notice it though Thursday and Friday. So if you're trying to go before it's a little more muggy, today is a good day for it. We are seeing quite the flooding situation unfolding in parts of Missouri. We've been watching this. We brought this to you yesterday as well, where they had flash flood warnings in Missouri just a little farther west of where they are now. Those showers have moved just slightly east and it's that system we're watching to bring us the threat for some rainfall here. But that excessive rainfall outlook for today shows that prime area to see some very heavy rainfall with a flooding concern over eastern Missouri into western Illinois. And that's where we're seeing that rain falling at this time. We're going to see those showers moving east as we head through the day. And we're looking at rainfall here once we get into the overnight hours. Here we are at 10 o'clock this evening. As we get past midnight, I say we'll start to see some rainfall off in our southwestern counties. I'm not expecting heavy rainfall, but there could be some pockets of some heavy showers, some thunderstorms, and this could shift ever so slightly. So if this makes just a slight northeasterly movement, we could get in on some of that heavier rainfall, something we'll watch very closely, and then some spawny to very widely scattered showers a little farther north as we head into the afternoon, but most of us are going to remain dry for tomorrow. We'll see a sharp cut off with that heavy rainfall where it looks like our southwestern counties are more favorable to see up to a quarter of an inch. But again, a slight shift in that track means we could see that heavier rainfall moving our way as well. So again, something we'll watch. Make sure to check back with us for updates. I have 84 today up to 82 tomorrow in those scattered showers and storms around again, mainly south Friday, much more humid 87 some spotty showers and storms and we'll keep that humidity into the weekend. Saturday will be the better day of the two as we'll see showers and storms coming back on into Sunday and then cooling down as we get into next week.